The Earth's temperature has risen by an average of 0.08 degrees Celsius per decade since 1880. The rate of warming since 1980 is more than twice as fast 0.18 degrees Celsius per decade. Previously, I checked the carbon dioxide concentration and it was around 430 ppm, which is the highest value in 2.1 million years. Our home planet is in danger. Let's find out what's the temperature status. This video is brought to you by Ultium 365. I'm going to perform indoor and outdoor temperature tests using this highly accurate temperature and humidity sensor SHT20 by the TF robot and today I'm going to use it with Arduino and an I2C supported SSD1306 or LED display module. I have used DHT11 and DHT21 temperature and humidity sensors in many videos. There is no doubt that these sensors are quite inexpensive. However, it is also true that these sensors are quite slow and not very accurate. Moreover, these temperature and humidity sensors are not waterproof. Therefore, these sensors are not recommended for outdoor applications. While on the other hand, the SHT20 temperature and humidity sensor is waterproof. It comes with a 4cc MOSINs SHT20 temperature and humidity sensor chip and the probe has gone through dual waterproof protection test. The SHT20 I2C supported temperature and humidity sensor adopt Sensarian techniques. This sensor has an amplifier, analog to digital converter, OTP memory and a digital processing unit. And that's why the SHT20 sensor is relatively more expensive than the DHT11, DHT21 and other sensors in this series. Compared with early SHT1X series and SHT7X series, SHT20 shows a strong reliability and long-term stability. It can precisely measure the temperature and humidity of the surrounding environment. There is also a built-in 10 kilo ohm pull-up resistor and a 0.1 microfarad filter capacitor. So, in today's episode, I'm going to measure the indoor and outdoor temperature and humidity values and I'm going to print these values on the OLED display module. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The operating voltage is 3.3 to 5 volts. This means you can use SHT20 sensor with 3.3 volt and 5 volt compatible controller boards like ESP8266, ESP32, Raspberry Pi, Pico, STM32 and all the other Arduino boards etc. The communication interface is I2C. Protection class is waterproof anti-condensation. Relative humidity response time is 8 seconds. Accuracy is plus minus 3% relative humidity and plus minus 0.3 degrees Celsius. Measuring range is 0 to 100% for the relative humidity and minus 40 to minus 125 degrees Celsius. And the weight is 44 grams. It has a total of four wires. The red and black wires are the VCC and ground wires. The yellow wire is the SCL and the green wire is the SDA. Wire details are also printed on the stake. As usual, I'm using my Arduino Nano and LoRa based development board, but you can also do the same exact connections on a breadboard. In this tutorial, I'm only using the OLED display module, so forget about all these other components. Anyway, the SHD20 temperature and humidity sensor and the SD1306 OLED display module both are I2C supported devices. So connect the SCL and SDA of both the modules to the Arduino analog pins A5 and A4. A5 is the SCL and A4 is the SDA. Connect the VCC and ground of the OLED display module to the Arduino 3.3 volt and ground pins and connect the VCC and ground wires of the SHT20 to the Arduino 5 volt and ground pins. If still you have got any confusion then you can follow this circuit diagram. First let's go ahead and install the required libraries for the SHT20 sensor and the SHT1306 OLED display module. While the Arduino IDE is open go to the sketch menu then to include library and click on the aid.zip library. Browse to the location and select the zip folder. You can download this library from our website electronicclinic.com. As you can see the library has been added. Now we will install libraries for the SD1306 or LED display module. Simply go to the sketch menu then to include library and this time click on the manage libraries. Search for the Adafruit underscore GFX and install it. As you can see, I have already installed this library. 
Next, search for the Adafruit underscore SSD1306 and install it. As you can see, I have also installed this library. All my libraries are installed and now let's take a look at the programming. Ultim365 lets you invite users to your workspace so everyone can collaborate on projects and access the latest design revisions. To invite a user to the workspace, click the name of the workspace and select my Ultium 365 to open the workspace configuration in your browser. On the left side, select workspace members. Click the invite workspace members button to start the invitation process. To invite a user, enter their email address in the aid members field. You can invite multiple users at the same time. Finally, you can add a note that users will see in the invitation. After entering all the necessary data, click the invite button to complete the process. Specify the administrator role for the invited user. Once a new team member accepts the invitation, they will have defined access to the workspace and can collaborate with other members. I have added links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart, the world's fastest component search engine. Now let's get back to our project. I started off by adding all the required libraries. These lines of code are for the OLED display module. Serial communication is initiated with a baud rate of 115200. The wire library is started for I2C communication. The I2C clock speed is set to this value. The SSD sensor is initialized with the I2C address 0x44. The OLED display module is initialized with the specified parameters and you can see the I2C address which is 0x3C. We read the status of the SSD20 sensor and print it on the serial monitor. There is a delay of 2 seconds then we clear the display and set the text color to white. Inside the loop function we simply read the SHD sensor then we send the temperature and humidity values to the serial monitor and at the same time we also print the temperature and humidity values on the OLED display module. So that's all about the programming and now let's go ahead and upload this program. Connect your Arduino board to the laptop or PC. Select the Arduino board and also the communication board. And one more thing if you are using Arduino Nano then don't forget to select the processor type 80 mega 328p old bootloader. Finally click on the upload button. As you can see the program has been uploaded now let's go ahead and start the practical demonstration. This is the 12th of June 2023 and this is my first indoor test. To make it portable I'm using my 4S lithium ion battery to power up the Arduino. Anyway, in my studio, the fan is also turned on and in the adjacent room, the AC is also on. I have also painted the roof with white colored paint to reflect the sunlight, but still the temperature is very high. 32 degrees Celsius is extremely high. This is my second outdoor test and the sensor is in the shade. As you can see, the temperature is 37 degrees Celsius and the humidity is 38%. This is my third outdoor test and as you can see the sensor is directly under the sunlight. It has been on for the last 10 minutes. The temperature is 49 degrees Celsius and the humidity is 25%. You won't believe it but it rained here two days ago and there is still not full sunlight. Yet the temperature is so high. This temperature is higher than the last air temperature and it's due to the carbon dioxide concentration in the earth's atmosphere. In my previous video, I checked the carbon dioxide concentration using the carbon dioxide sensor and it was around 430 ppm, which is the highest value in 2.1 million years. If you don't control carbon dioxide emissions, the Earth's temperature will increase even more. We need to work on this, otherwise there won't be anything left for our future generations. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.